okay, well, that, hopefully, again, I, wasn't, I was not at the arraignment yesterday. Um, I hope he pled not guilty. I assume that that's what happened. But today, when I entered my appearance, uh, and for the record, he's, he's pleading not guilty to those offenses. So he, so he is, there was, I was at the hearing, he did not say that he was not guilty or make that pleading. So right now, though, you're telling us that he is pleading not guilty. That, that, that is correct. So he doesn't say he's, you are under the impression or you're trying to defend the client on the fact that he is not the shooter? Listen. I haven't seen any evidence that says that he's the shooter. So uh, that's, uh, you know, like I, like I said earlier, and I wasn't kidding around. A couple of things. If you're going to report something, report it accurately. And remember, and this is not just a small thing, the fundamental uh, uh, concept of American justice is a presumption of innocence and until you're proven guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. And I've seen zero evidence at this point. And so I'm not even aware of what any charges. I'm sorry, that's just regarding the extradition Request from well, the only hearing today was the extradition, so uh, yeah, we're going to take one step at a time. It's a long process. Well, can be a long process. The photos that police released, the NYPD release of him. I'm sorry? The photos the NYPD release of the, your client. Uh, I don't have any control over what the NYPD uh, does, and um, if uh, they release something, I hope I can get my hands on them, and can, can if you guys get them, send them to me. I'd appreciate it. Clarify something. You pleaded, you pled for him not guilty in the state of Pennsylvania about the charges here. Can you just, when did that happen? Well, he has a hearing coming up, I believe it's uh, the 20 something -ith. I, I can't recall, a lot happened today. Um, and um, so until, they haven't even had a prima facie case established yet, so they have to have a, a prima facie state, a, a prima facie case established before they can even, the case can move on to the court of common pleas. <laughs> The, the, the burden, the burden is always on the government, thank God. And that's their burden, and they're going to have to produce some evidence, and we're anxious to see it. Understanding yes, that you have said you have not seen charges coming out of New York yet, that if, if and when there are and you have seen them, will you be pleading not guilty to those as well? Uh, th that would be my expectation. That certainly would be my advice. Your client's so, demeanor um, the past two days at the arraignment and again today at the hearing, at some points he was you know, smiling, laughing. You even had to actually tell him to stop talking. Um, what is his? What are his feelings right now? Well, I mean, he seems outspoken. Well, all, all I can. Well, you know, he's all, You know, I, I said earlier, use your common sense. If you, you put yourself in, you or a loved one in that position, uh, it's you know natural. I think to go through many emotional states. As far as him not talking, as long as I'm going to be the lawyer, I'm going to do all the talking. My client's not going to say I, anything. I, I, a, a quick question about process. Um, I, I I was also at the at the hearing last night. I don't remember any plea being asked for or entered. Okay. Um, in, as long as he hasn't in, pled guilty, that's all I care about. So. In, yeah, in, 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 the, in the Blair County case, it's just the not the Well, I'm telling you, as his lawyer, he didn't have any lawyer of record, mm -hmm. and uh, as a little, he didn't have any representation until I got involved this afternoon, and I'm telling you, he's pleading not guilty to when, each and every other. When does that plea normally happen? Uh, at that first hearing, or? Uh, like I said, normally that could happen at the uh, that could happen at the um, um, that the what happened last night at the uh, you know informal arraignment, which is at the magisterial district judge. So is he telling you this is all some sort of awful mistake? Uh, I'm not going uh, to talk about anything he's told me. How do you end up in Altoona? I'm not going to talk about that. Has he been able to contact his family since? Yeah, I'm not going to get into that either. Can you tell us when you were hired? Uh, I can say sometime prior to the hearing this afternoon. So you were hired and not appointed by the court? That is correct. If Governor Huichel signed, uh, provides this governor's uh, extradition thing, does that change the, t the timetable here? You still have the right to a habeas hearing, don't you? Y yes, sir, we do. Um, like I said, and I'm not trying to be, uh, I mean, it's 20, you know, 24, I'm not trying to be a smart ass or anything, but when we see, th we've got to wait until we see things. When things happen, uh, we'll react to that and, and proceed accordingly. Since cameras weren't allowed in the courtroom, um, and which, which is normal and fine. In Pennsylvania, you, that's, that's yeah. the law. Uh, well, would you be able to give us a summary of what it is that happened in the courtroom today? Yeah, today is basically what it was, a, and it happened fast. Uh, uh, it, there was an extradition hearing um, scheduled. I found out about that about an hour or so uh, before the hearing. And the initial thing is a, 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 client, a, a person um, can uh, waive uh, extradition. And it was my opinion and my advice under the circumstances that he not, and I emphasize the not because apparently there's news reports already going out that he waived his extradition. He did not do that. 
And so that's why we wanted to make sure we're going to uh, use the process and use the Constitution and the rights that are available to any one of us in this room and any American uh, citizen or person charged with a crime. So we're going to move uh, move you forward. You argue that he should not be um, eligible for, I'm sorry, that he should be eligible for bail. Excuse me. Yes, ma'am. Talk about some of those reasons. Yeah. So. In Pennsylvania, uh, the, the Constitution says that all crimes are generally a bailable offense. Bailable offense means you have to set some form of bail. The exception to that is if it's a capital case, which, is a, which means the, the Commonwealth or the government is looking for the death penalty. And I'm proud to say I'm one of the few attorneys in Pennsylvania that's qualified to do death penalty cases. But those which this is not a capital case, knock on wood at least that I'm aware of it uh, right now, or if a first degree, uh, first degree murder, which carries in Pennsylvania life without parole. If the charge which you're faced with is life without parole, uh, then you're not eligible for bail. Since the uh, crime, at least what was set forth by the district attorney, uh, was alleged to be a second degree murder, uh, that's not life without parole. So I believe that it, it, bail should have been set. But you also talked about like a home monitoring system um, was a possibility. He, his, uh his pri lack of prior criminal history. I mean, you, you really feel that um, your client should be out in the public. You do not feel that he's a threat to the people. Yeah, now you've got to understand, when you set bail, the judge could set a million dollar bail. It could be five million dollar bail, but you know, damn it, you, you get bail. That's what you do. And like I said, anytime you look at the criminal justice system, pretend you're that one in that spotlight. You're going to want to be out. And, you know, so, yeah, I think he was entitled to bail. And the judge makes it $100 million or $10 billion or 100000 He's entitled to bail. But to simply um, say no bail, in all due respect uh, to the judge, I, I believe bail should have been set. During the hearing yesterday, he implied that some of the cash that was found on him was responsible or he didn't know what it was to do with. Can you speak to that, please? Uh, I can't because I wasn't at that proceeding. Is your client being held in a sorry type of family? I can't uh, comment on that. I don't. I do not know. What, what is the procedure in the next couple of days? What are you going to do? What is going to happen? Uh, I'm not going to get in a lot of detail. I do have uh, some things planned, but I can't get into that because um, I don't think that's what attorneys do. It, sorry. Are, are there any other court proceedings in the next day or two? Uh, not that I'm aware of. I hope that since I'm uh, the attorney of record, um, that they let me know about it. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't know where you all are from, but I still see people wearing masks. They say numerous masks. A lot of times when you buy masks, you got to buy them. You know, they don't, I guess you can buy them individually, but every time I bought them, they come in boxes. So I don't know. All I, all I can tell you is that's not a crime. It's not a crime. Did your client indicate to you that the reason for the mask was because of the COVID? Uh, I, would, I would not ever indicate anything that he indicated to me. What's I, his I can't get into that. like? Is he worried? Well, you know, I, I'm not going to speculate on that, but like I, like I said, use your common sense. If you were, if you were in a in a jail or confined in a in a state where supposedly there's rumors going around you're going to be charged with murder, use your common sense. What well, you, can you talk tell to us about your client. What's that? What can you tell us about your client? Probably not a whole lot. <laughs> what were your first impressions of him whenever you met with him or spoke with him? For the first time? I'm not. Uh, like the airplane movie said, hey, give us your impression. And the guy says, I don't do impressions. So uh, I, I, don't, I wasn't looking for impressions. What I was trying to do uh, was um, form a bond with my client. I want him to trust me, and I want him to be confident that I'm here for him. And I feel that uh, I'm very pleased uh, how that went. How about his, his mental and his physical health? Excuse me, ladies first. I'm sorry. Uh, how, how is both his mental and his physical health? Online, he appeared to frequently discuss a spine injury he may have had, and, and do uh, you think that could have contributed to some sort of yeah, I'm, breakdown? Yeah, I'm an attorney. I'm not a physician. I, I would only be speculating. I'm not going to do that. What's the benefit of not waiving extradition and going to New York? And having uh, there's a lot of benefits to that. It would take too long for me to get into all that. It's, uh, it's um, you know, we're, we're testing the process. I, I haven't seen anything. I have, I have not seen one scintilla, one speck one drop of any evidence yet. So it's, um, it's uh, what I decided, I think, that we would, that was in our best interest to do can, today. Can you clarify if he will plead not guilty to the murder charge? Well, he had, from what I've seen up to this point, he hasn't been charged with that, okay? He hasn't been charged with that. But if, in fact, uh, he would be charged with that, I would anticipate. Uh, again, I don't, I don't really want to speculate, uh, but if, in fact, that would happen, I would, I would just, uh, anticipate a plea of not guilty. Are you able to represent him in New York for the if that would happen, that, that could be a possibility. Will you accept public 
public donations from those seeking to fund his defense? I don't know. How long will you be fighting the extradition? Uh, as long as it takes to do it effectively and competently. So, j just to confirm, you, you are also barred in, in New York? Uh, no, but you can get admitted because I've been doing this for 41 years. Um, you can get ad admitted there. So, but like I said, I, I don't want to speculate about anything. If something if that opportunity would present itself and that would come out, I certainly would consider it. Why did your client come to Altoona? I'm not going to get into that. Do you have any ties to her? Not, not going to comment on that. Could you comment on what type of money the foreign currency was? The, the what? what type of uh, no, no, uh, ma'am, I could not because, again, I wasn't there. I haven't seen anything yet. I don't like to go by what I, in all due respect to you folks, what I hear in the press. Um, and, uh, you know, so I'm, now that I'm on board, I'm going to find out. Did you talk to him about the New York? Uh, again, I'm not going to get into what my client and I talk about. Have you spoken to his family? Not going to get into anything about that. Are you going to follow any motion of any sort any person? I anticipate doing that. Did you object to him going up to SCI uh, Huntington? Should he be here in the county lockup? Um, that's an administrative thing. Uh, that's at the bottom of my priority list right now, um, as long as uh, um, he's safe and all that stuff, and I'll, I'll deal with that. Watch? Pardon me? He's under suicide watch? I, uh, I don't know that, and even if I did, I wouldn't comment on it. Sir, sir, can you just because they, they do that a lot of times in some institutions, just as a matter of procedure. Sir, can you just repeat, I'm sorry, folks are watching this all over the country and they're having questions. Can Is you that why all your cameras are here? Um, can, you, can you just uh, help us understand what is... What do you expect him not to plead guilty to? Is this the murder charge or the charges in Pennsylvania? If you charge a person, if the government charges a person with a crime, they have to prove that, okay? And they have to have some evidence, all right? So, uh, you know, we got it. Like I said, I, you can look on this table and here, here, here's all the evidence I have right here, guys. So zoom in, zoom in, I suppose you want to, nothing. I've seen nothing, I have nothing, and, um, and uh, we'll, we'll get that and we'll the take money that you said that split on him. What, what charge is broken? Every charge. Every charge. And every charge. Every charge. Soup to nuts. Every charge. Are what you, about the money? But about what money? It was $8,000 that was found with him. I'm not commenting on that again. Like I said, I, I, I don't know anything about money other than what I've heard from you guys, and I will get to the bottom of that and figure Taking that out. Taking a step back for a second, you. you <laughs> 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 but, but stay close to the mics. Okay, uh, okay, sorry. When you saw news of the shooting last week that the CEO of United Health had, had been gunned down in the streets of Manhattan, what did you personally think? What was your reaction? Uh, I, you know, I'm a lawyer, I'm a criminal defense lawyer. I, I don't have a whole lot of time to watch news. I, I, I just look at glances and I, I won't comment on when that. When did you hear of it? Uh, I can't even remember. Have you done any investigation yet? Uh, like, I, I, I'm, I'm just really kind of basically got in this thing today, so I'm going to be doing some of that. Can you clarify who hired you? No, I cannot. Are I you, will not. I can, you, but I will not. Are you aware of the uh, statement the defendant made when he was being escorted to the courthouse today? Well, I've heard some different uh, uh, versions of that, I, 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 so I, I need to see what that statement was and all that stuff, but uh, hopefully um, there won't be any more of that. This will be up there? Uh, I, I do not know. Sometimes I can get the court to arrange for him, to, for not just him, for a client to be transported back to Blair County. We understand um, that there have been some threats made to local restaurants, local establishments, even the local police and their buildings. Have you and your office or staff here received any threats of that kind? Uh, no, I hope not. But no, I'm not aware of any. I, I heard that just, uh, uh, I don't even know where I heard it uh, in the last half hour on my way back to my office, but I don't know. I, I think what I did, and, and maybe I think I saw a, 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 some transcription of uh, District Attorney Week's press conference, he mentioned something about people being threatened. I hope not. I mean, that's not what we should be doing as Americans. When do you expect to talk to your client next? Soon. Do you, uh, are you going to uh, attempt to delay the December 23rd prelim? Is that enough time? Um, that's a good question. I do not know that yet. That that could be a that could be a possibility. Does he have a physical injury of any kind? His back I'm not going to comment on anything personally related to my client. What are we missing? 
What happened in court when you told him to keep quiet? Uh, he shut his mouth, <laughs> which is good. That's what he needs to do. What right? did you do to, for you to tell him? I thought I heard his voice. So that, so when I heard that, that triggered me and shut up. So that's How long just, have you been practicing? Uh, this is uh, my 41st year. Where did you leave it with him? Are you going to talk to him tomorrow? Uh, I may, uh, but definitely soon. Thank you. Thank All right. You Anything else? Thank you, guys. Like I said, I appreciate so, your patience. Thomas M. Dickey. Yes, Thomas M. Dickey. Uh, that, uh, yeah, no, um, yeah, Thomas Thank M. Dickey. And then, um, so I appreciate everybody. Yeah. Sorry the weather is what it is. Right, and uh, you. I appreciate you guys. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so good luck to you. You're very sir. welcome. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank and remember, just don't forget that presumption of innocence, okay? That's a really important thing. And uh, hopefully not, but someday you guys may all appreciate that.